Savage fam. Uh, happy Monday. Um, so look, Ariel and her child moved out yesterday, last night after dinner. And my house is a mess. So that will be on the agenda this week is to get my house back in order. Um, yeah. But for now, Amani and I are going to head to Home Goods to the one where I got the two brown chairs, the two wicker, whatever chairs, rattan, I don't even know what you want to call them, chairs that I put on the patio because I only end up getting two because I did not know how big the um, egg chair was going to be and how much space it was going to take up. And also because Dante usually does not sit outside. He's not really an outdoorsy person. But yesterday when he was sitting out there with me, he actually was saying that we should have, that, that I should try to get a third one because we are going to try to move forward with having the patio screened in sooner than later. So, um, and he really liked the chairs and I'm guessing he's going to sit out there a little bit more often. So I'm going to go and see if I can find another one of those chairs. If I don't, I don't. It's not a big deal because um, we can make it work with just one of those like camping chairs. Um, but I'm going to go see if I can find one. So that's the plan and um, to start the day off and then whatever else I kind of get into for the day. Because um, there is another home goods. There's plenty of home goods, but we're going to go start the day off that way, see what else we see, and then come back to the house and do whatever. But I know I need to strip down the guest room because she was sick, clean the guest room, all of that type of stuff. But for now, I want to do an outfit of the day and we're going to get started um, with the day. I know I need to drop off some stuff to her house as well, but... That's on the way, so let's get started. Okay, so quick outfit of the day is this green, um, I guess it's like a track suit. I guess that's what you would call it. Um, it's a two piece, of course. And I just have on a white cami under it. And I have on those um, white Yeezys 700s that um, I just recently got from Ty Locker. And I'm carrying this green crossbody to match. Uh-oh. And just have my hair pulled up on the top. Because it's going to be 80 degrees, 81, I think, today. So, yeah. That's the outfit of the day. Something nice and casual. Mira is nice and dirty because of Kai. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the outfit of the day. All right, let's get out of here. I just got in here and the store is completely changed around. So I don't even know if I'm going to be lucky enough to find this chair. So I'm a little nervous. But there's another home goods that's closer to my home. So I might have to look in that one as well. But we'll see. Think I'm gonna be lucky. They have some without the like um, without the arms, but and it actually looks kind of the same, but just don't have the arms. But I don't think I want that one. But I'm just gonna keep looking. So we did not have any luck in home goods. When I say we, because Amani's in the car with me as well. Um, they did not have any of those chairs remaining. So I'm going to try the home goods close to my house as well. Um, and see if they have any, but I'm not, I'm going to be too hopeful because you know, home goods changes out their merchandise, um, quite frequently, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens and go from there. 
Um, I didn't vlog in there because I literally just went in there for that chair. I didn't even look around because I didn't want to be tempted. So we're going to see um, if they had any. So we're in the second home goods and they only have these chairs in black. So I guess I'm gonna just give up looking for them and just call it a day because I'm not going to a third home goods. So I'm back home and I was not successful at either home goods. I'm not surprised though because they change out their um they're like inventory constantly and if is it's like if you don't get it when you see it is a good chance you're not going to get it i'm going to go online on like homegoods.com and see if i see it and if i don't then it is what it is it's not a big deal because i really do love my patio the way that it is and it's not a big deal so um but i would have went to more stores but the daycare called and said best friend was sick. It is allergy season and his asthma is acting up. Of course, he's allergic to every freaking tree here in Georgia. And this pollen is thick. So he's been like really struggling with his asthma. Which leads me to the last couple days. He's inherited his grandma's nosebleeds. And he got blood on my couch upstairs yesterday. And I just did not feel like going to get peroxide. So I went today and got peroxide. Um, I had some Dawn and some more baking soda. I'm going to try to make a paste and put it on the couch and let it sit and pray that I can scrub the blood, the dried up blood out of the couch because he was having back-to-back -back nosebleeds for like the last maybe two, three days. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. Um, just like I said, like a little bit of a paste. Um, I don't know if that's going to work. Like I've always like had nosebleeds like growing up. Matter of fact, I still do, but mine are usually during the winter when the um, weather is dry. Um, so I've never had them because of pollen, and I've never gotten them on the cup, like on a couch or anything like that. I've always been able to um, catch mine and take care of it. But that was not the case with Kai, and I don't know how he got, the, got it on the couch, but I am going to try and pray that I can clean this up. And if I don't, I'll be asking for some suggestions, <laughs> but we're going to hope and pray that this works. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, so I got my paste and I'm about to go upstairs and put it on the couch and hope that it works. So, here's my stain. I have no idea, like I said, how this ended up here. But, sit you guys down. Got my paste. Put it on quite thick. Rub it in.
And I'm going to let it sit for a while and see what happens and pray for the best. <laughs> um, and if it don't work, then I'll go on to try something else. But for now, I'm going to just let it sit for a while. And then I'll come back and um, hope for the best and try to get it up. Like I said, I don't even know how he got it there because he wasn't even out here. So who knows? Good morning, y'all. It is officially Tuesday, and it's going to be another warm day here in Georgia. The last <laughs> warm day, because tomorrow's going to be back um, in, like, I think the 50s or 60s. It's going to be, like, 80 again today. So I'm going to try to probably take advantage of today. Well, probably not. <laughs> I have therapy at, I think, 11, but... My plan is to tackle my guest room. Um, it has become like the catch-all room. And I think it's just because it's downstairs. And also Ariel was sleeping in that room because it has a bathroom right next to it. Um, and let's just put one here. She did attempt to kind of make the room up before she left, which was surprising because Ariel don't typically do that. Uh, yeah. So I was really surprised that she attempted to kind of make it look a little bit presentable. So she did make up the bed, but I'm going to strip that down, of course, because those sheets needs and blankets and things need to be washed. And... Let me just show you. So this is like some of the stuff that's Kai's coats and sweaters. I don't know why she didn't take them home, but Amani came home from college and put all of her like dorm stuff in this room. So the closet has stuff of hers as well as her pots and pans and kitchen stuff is there. This is catch-all stuff and then of course all of this is catch-all stuff this is her uh fridge from her dorm this is just like stuff that i purchased a long time ago that i was going to do some projects with never used more of her dorm stuff but i want to um change all of that today and make this back the Ariel on her freaking wigs. Did she take all her stuff out of these drawers? She did. Because she had them completely moved in. Okay, so the plan today is to strip down his bed, wash the sheets, and to pack up Amani's dorm stuff into these, like, containers because I got extra ones and put it out in the garage because... The plan is for her to move back into the dorms, preferably in the fall. And this is not her room. This is the guest room, and I would like it to be ready for a guest when we have one, and not Ariel. Um, I just, I just don't want it to look the way it's looking. So, I want to go ahead and clean this room today, and then of course I need to do the bathroom clean the bathroom because I am planning to do a bathroom makeover. I still need to get some pieces and some things for that bathroom makeover. I need to, once again, check and see what I have, but I do need to do that as well. I have a lot of things that I want to get done. I do need to call and get a quote for the patio, the porch, patio, porch, patio, patio. <laughs> to get it fenced in or not screened in, screened in, screened in. Um, just a lot of things that I need to do. But first, I'm going to go ahead and start script, uh, scripting, stripping, stripping this room so I can at least start doing the sheets and covers before I go to therapy because it's. What time is it? 9.10. And I have to leave here probably around maybe 10, 10, 10. 
Okay. Another great therapy session um, I'm really glad that I finally took the plunge and signed up for therapy because I really feel like it's helping me um, and uh, it's not easy it's not easy talking about the things that you know what I'm saying like that are like you know deep within but it does it does help to kind of get it out there and um <sighs> but anyway i'm now on my way to ariel's uh for a late lunch um and to see my best friend because he is really having a hard time with this freaking georgia pollen um but she said he's feeling much better today i ended up having to pick him up early yesterday uh, because he was really struggling and needed um, a breathing treatment, several breathing treatments. But like I said, she said he's feeling much better today. So I'm gonna go by there. And she's act like I said, she's cooking lunch, pretty hungry. So that's where I'm headed. I know I said I was gonna be working on the uh, guest room today. But yeah, I know how that goes. Y'all know how that goes. Somebody cooking you some lunch. Not going to pass it up. Because I sure didn't want to go home and have to figure out what I was going to eat. So I will pick up the camera in just a second when I get there. And let y'all see what she cooking. I don't know why her garage is open, but we're going to go through the garage. You have a key. I'm not using no key because you home. I told I like you. Well, oh, thank you, ma'am. Okay. Hey, friend. What you doing? Giving powder blue. Hey, hey, what friend. What you doing? Coming to visit you. You said you wanted me to come over. Oh. Hey. Hey. What you doing? Coming to visit. Come you here. Okay. Close come the door. Come in my mama's room. In your mama's room. Why well, can't come in your room? Because don't record in there because I'm I'm doing my laundry. My, my cover's off of it. Why can't I come in your room? I gotta take my shoes off. Hold on. Oh yeah. Okay, what you got going on, Ariel? I'm making salmon croquettes with peppers and onions and garlic and seasonings and I'm making some biscuits on the side. Okay. Yeah. Got a lot of peppers going on over here. I know. I'm gonna use some of them and I'm gonna save some for another dish. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And kill two birds with one stone. Okay. So making some pasta. Probably tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm on medical leave till the end of the month, so I have nothing to do but stay at home and cook. Okay. Be a good housewife to myself. A housewife to yourself. Mm-hmm. And hang out with your mama. Yeah. Hopefully she comes and eats my food. 
But apparently she doesn't like bell peppers. Mm, I don't know. That's not what I said. I just don't like bell peppers. Like, mm, in my salmon croquette, like, crutching on big... You, you, you know what? You're not about to put me on the spot. Because that's not... Yeah. Long story. Mm. Okay. I eat bell peppers, but I just don't like the... Yeah. Okay. I don't want them in my salmon croquette. Okay. Whatever you like, babe. Thanks, hon. Mm -hmm. All right, I got to go back to sit with my best friend so he can keep talking to me. No, you came over here to see me, didn't you? Um, I invited you to come over here to eat. You didn't. You're right. Okay. That's why you don't want you to okay, so this is what Ariel's salmon croquettes are looking like in her biscuits. Um, yeah, they're looking pretty good. Hopefully, they taste as good. What you got over there, best friend? Um, what you eating? Hot dogs and blueberries. Yeah. And blueberries. Okay. Do you need a fork? I already got a fork. Oh, my. Okay, let's see what Ariel's food tasting like. Have you ever made these before? Mm -hmm. When? It's been a couple years when I made them. Is it good? Does it taste good, Nina? Mm -hmm. I hope it tastes. Oh, no, I gotta take another bite because that was like more crispy. I gotta get in there and take. Big bite. That's what you call it. Mm-hmm. Is it good? It's good. Yes. Good job, Ariel. Thanks. This one right here, though, because it got peppers and onions. And I just don't like onions. But you don't like those bell peppers either. Yeah, I don't like crunch on bell peppers. I like when it's pureed or really, really finely chopped. But I just don't like the, you don't yeah, have the crunch. Mm -mm. no. I knew you was about to say yes. Mm -mm. It's, it's good though. Good job, Ariel. Good job. Thank you. Is it good? It's mm -hmm. good. Yes. How's your blueberries? They sweet? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I'm finally back home from um, Ariel's and I am about to attempt to separate out Amani's dorm stuff into these containers with the lids so I can put them out in the garage um, on the shelves so that I could, I can kind of make the guest room just the guest room and not the overflow storage room any longer. Um, some of this stuff, it's like, even though she knew she had to move out the dorms, she just threw the stuff together at the last minute when we were on our way to come get her. And it's been in here, just thrown in here ever since. And I would have her come down here and help, but she's at work. And I don't want to wait. So I'm just going to see what we're working with and attempt to make it a little more manageable so I can get it out of here because I don't want to leave it in here any longer. It's been in here long enough. So. This is ridiculous. These kids make me sick.
I'm not even caring at this point. I'm about to just put this stuff in here with lids and put it out there because she didn't. This stuff don't have no type of organization. And if she can't find nothing when it's time to go, all of it's going anyway. So it really don't matter at the end of the day. So it's all going with her. I'm not staying here. So I'm just going to put it back in here as long as the top is on it and it goes to the garage.
Good morning, guys. So, um, I am currently um, headed to um, the Salvation Army because it's Wednesday and they have half price Wednesdays. So, I want to go and see what they have um, to see what just the look. Um, when I was there last time, they had this little dresser that. Um, I um, was thinking about getting for Kai's room. He's had this like plastic little container thing in his room at my house um, since I like built his bedroom set. That it's been working because he he's only there for so many days a week. But now that he's kind of getting a little older, his clothes aren't getting much bigger because he's so tiny. But I was thinking about getting it and it was only $60 and I was thinking I could flip it and just because it was white and I was thinking about like sanding it down and painting it and putting like hardware on it. But I was like, eh. I wasn't there for a dresser at the time. I was there for um, the table for the patio. Um, but if they still got it today, then I may get it because it'll only be like thirty dollars but either way i'm just going to see what they have because why not half price you know so yeah so we're just gonna go and see what they have um because you can really find some really nice stuff at the thrift store so i'll pick back up the camera when I get there so apparently everybody else had the same idea as me because I just roll past and I have to make a u-turn when I tell you they parking lot is full OMG I was just here and there was no one in there now all of a sudden today is half price and I don't even know if I'm gonna get a parking spot. My plan was to be here when they opened, but I be moving slow. And then I was talking to Dante cause he came from the gym. And then I wanted to finish putting the covers and all of that stuff in the guest room. Nisha, I need to do better, gosh. And it's only 1023, I don't even know what time they open. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, their parking lot is full. I ain't gonna go home though, because that's what I that's what I typically would do is be like, you know what, never mind. But I'm gonna go on in here and hope for the best. Oh Lord. Okay.
I really like this one and they have it for a hundred and I don't know if I think it might be 50% off because this is 50% off day but I don't know if it'll fit in my vehicle and I don't want to rent a U-Haul for it I just don't know if it'll fit so that's what it looks like and it's pretty pretty nice I feel like I can really do a good job of like refurbishing it and painting it adding some hardware to it but I don't think it I don't know if it'll fit I should have brought a measuring tape which sucks yeah I don't know so the dresser that I originally came looking for of course was sold um, but I did end up getting the um brown one the wood one um so i was incorrect everything was not 50 percent off only the things that was marked was 50 percent off and um it looks like it was the things that were a little older that was fit like they had been here a little bit longer that was 50 percent off however and everything else was 25 percent off if it wasn't marked it was 25 percent off so the dress i ended up buying was uh 99.99 and so that made it 25 percent off because it was newer looks like he came in yesterday um uh, but the guy was like um you can always ask for them to give you the 50 percent off so he went and asked the manager and the manager was like yeah, she can have it for 50% off. So I end up getting it for 50% off. So my plan is to um, actually to sand it down and paint it black because Kai's furniture in his room is black. And I'm going to add some hardware to it um, because it doesn't have any. And I think it's going to be really cute. So that's going to be a project um, in the upcoming weeks to make over that dresser um, while the weather is still pretty um, pretty decent because I don't want to wait until it's like 90 degrees and then it's like so hot in the garage. So looking forward to that. Um, I think I'm gonna end this vlog. I'm just heading home now. I'm gonna have Dante take this out of the, um, the car when I get there and put it in a garage because there's no need to take it upstairs of course because i'm going to sand it down in the garage i also got another project coming up or probably started maybe tomorrow who knows um because i'm going to be revamping a little bit in the um the loft uh i didn't even show y'all what that stain looked like on the couch but I got like probably 95% of that blood out, but I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo the couch and change out some things in there. Um, but yeah, that stain did come out probably like about 95%. If you don't know it's there, you wouldn't notice. But because I know it's there, I notice. Like, Amani was like, you don't even see it. I noticed because I noticed. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog so I can get it edited when I get to the house. After I eat something because it's like 11 and I didn't eat breakfast. So, I'm going to end this vlog and it's like April. When is Mother's Day? It's in May. So, I need to also um, start working on telling y'all what the Mother's Day um, giveaway is because I want to get the gift or whatever out before Mother's Day as well. Um, yeah, so be looking forward to that as well, y'all. I just love y'all. I just love y'all so much. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end this and I will see you guys in my next one.